Hello, welcome to Maker's Technical Support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will review how to use the test plan function of the TTRU3 software. Let's get started. Once in the home screen of the TTRU3 software, we're going to go ahead and click New Test Plan. And you see the first screen we get is nameplate information. All the orange icons at the bottom, nameplate tabs, asset condition, and test setup are pretty much indicating the flow that will follow until we are ready to start measuring when we reach the last screen. Let's start by filling out or telling the software what is the vector configuration of our transformer. If we look at our nameplate, we can see that we're going to be testing a Y and D transformer. I'll tell you about the phase shift in a second. So when I click the primary vector, I can just click on Y N and then tell we have a delta. The software will offer the possible phase shift configuration. If you are familiar with the different phase shifts, you can just go ahead and directly select it. If not, notice that the diagrams are rotating accordingly. So you just have to match exactly the same orientation of the one you're selecting compared to the one in your nameplate. So I'm going to go ahead and click D1. That will match exactly what I have on my nameplate. Next, I need to tell the software if I have a tab changer, and if so, what type of tab changer I have. As you can see from our nameplate, again, we do have a DTC on our primary side, and we have no tab changer on the secondary. Our tab changer on our primary is five tabs, which is already selected since it's the most common number of tabs. And we have 33 OLTC for the secondary, which is also common, but in this case, we have no tab changer. To tell the software I will have no tab changer, I will just say I have one single position on my secondary. I'm just going to go ahead and change the label so my position is my nominal. So I selected this type of label. Once again, no tab changer on my secondary. I have no treasury, but I, if I had one, this would be the place to tell or to put it in my test plan. Then I need to tell what is my nominal. Now I notice that my labels are not exactly matching my nameplate, so I will correct it here on tab labels. And nominal tab is number three as per my nameplate. Also, I need to input the nominal voltage. Remember that these fields are in volts. So looking at the nameplate again, I noticed that I made a mistake. This is my nominal is position number two. I will correct it in a second. That's what the nameplate, I'm sorry, what, that's what the test plan will allow me to do. So 145,000 is my nominal voltage set the changes and I have to redo it no problem there so first tab voltage go to my nameplate again it is 148,625 and my last tab is 134,125 And I need my nominal voltage for my secondary, which is 18,000 volts. That's it. I'm pretty much finished with this first screen, nameplate information. Let's go ahead and click tabs. Once again, since our primary is the one with the tab changer, I need to make sure that all, you see, obviously, the software calculated all the different tabs. And this is where I need to make sure that all the calculated values match exactly what I have on my nameplate. The first one, I input the value, so it should be the same. 
Number two, I also told the software what is the nominal. Remember on this transformer, nominal position is number two. Number three, this was calculated. So let's check. 141.375, it matches my nameplate. Number four, 137.750, it also matches my nameplate. And the last one, I also input the value before. So it matches my nameplate. Once again, this is very useful on this example. It's only five taps, but when we have a, an OLTC, this can be very, very useful. On the secondary, well, I have no tap changer. So we're ready for the next screen of the test plan. And this is my asset information. It's needless to say, this is not strictly necessary. It won't, if you don't fill it out, it won't prevent you from testing. But it's really good that you fill this out so your report is complete and you don't have to fill it out later. So then we need the capacity for uh, our transformer primary. Let's look at our nameplate again. It is well with you with, with, with the highest capacity, so do 200. Now, our notice that our nameplate is in MBA and our TTRU3 software is asking for KBA, so make sure you pay attention to the units. Same for the secondary, and I'm gonna leave the BIL, the impedance, empty for now. I'm going to give it just tutorial. That's fine. Manufacturer, we're going to say mega with sample. We don't manufacture transformers, but we're going to use as a training material here let's say it's a brand new transformer class have all the different options let's select all natural air natural tank type seal seal conservator open conservator free breed gas oil have all these different options so this will be according to the size of my transformer coolant oil and water we use oil coolant volume let's just take a while guess i can change the units as well Remember, I'm not strictly following the nameplate. These are just this is I'm taking. Let's say 200,000. Call to sign three leg. If you do know, most of the time you won't be able to tell this is not uh, indicated in the nameplate most of the time. If you have a job number, let's say you do. We put it substation location let's use Dallas and if you do have a nameplate picture you can even make it part of the report then we go into conditions say number of the tester let's say it's me why are you testing this transformer let's say it's a commissioning test and the weather is sunny ambient temperature let's say it's 25 degrees celsius relative humidity let's say it's 45 percent and your oil temperature is let's say also 25 this transformer is, hasn't been in service you, you're just doing commissioning so 25. next screen test setup this is where you tell the soul, but okay, what's your initial condition, right? Since this is commissioning, we're going to say we're going to start from tab number one. We're going to do all of them. On the secondary, you don't have 
tab, so neutral it is. Mode of test, remember there are a few different ways that the unit can run the test. Auto mode, you leave that decision to the unit, to the software. You can do three phase step up, three phase step down, one phase or single phase step up, and single phase step down. Notice that when you change the mode, the test voltage also changes, giving you the maximum value and giving you the option to select what is the tab voltage. If you go to auto mode, once again, the test voltage is grayed out as that will be defined by the software. We don't have a no LTC, but here you have the, the option of selecting manual mode for you to change the tab manually either directly at your tab changer controls or using the remote of the ttru3 if you go to auto you get to find the pulse and wait times or you can use a feature that will learn those um, settings from your tab changer with your help if you need more details on those there's a video covering uh, those sections once again, we don't have an OTC, so I'm just going to leave it in manual, and we're pretty much ready to test. I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to say test plan training. Accept that, and we're ready to test. Once again, we're not covering connections here, since those are covered in a different video. So let's go ahead and click test. The unit will perform my first measurement. It will tell me what tabs is testing, what combination of tabs is testing. It will show me my results. Right, I can change from TTR to TNR. And from the screen, right, I let's say we're happy with this. So then we can manually change the tab right remember this is at the etc so change that tab i'm going to save this for now once we change the tab to number two to position number two i can just click here directly i don't have to go back press test it will do that combination of tabs primary second to secondary neutral give me my results it's showing me that these two are the phase deviation is out of the limit We'll check that later let's again said that the position in my tab changer was switched to number three so I click down here press test in real life conditions this three phase measurement will take about 10 seconds or even less let's go to number four And let's do number five, which is the last position of my tab changer. Remember, on this example, we were using a transformer with a DETC. So you have to change the tab in between the test manually. We have all our five results. You can quickly go back to review each tab. And notice you have also a button here that will change the view. The second view will give you the percentage error per phase and the last one will give you a table which is really neat for you to see it will highlight the ones with um, errors the percentage errors or either on the phase deviation or the ratio that were out of the limit established in the settings that you know by the default mode for my triple e is point five percent and change the view once again number two number three number four number five so all the errors were on the phase deviation from here you can save everything export the results 
or even copy this setup in case you are testing many transformers with similar configurations. So let's go back to the home screen and look at the results for that tab. You see this record is telling you that there are five measurements inside, which is the one we were testing. And once again, it will take you back to the results screen and give you the options to change the views. On this graph, notice well, it doesn't look very useful and that's because the X axis was set to the secondary tabs but you can quickly change it to primary. You can select from looking at all the faces or look at the graph per face. This concludes TTIU3 test pen. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any question you may need for your electrical testing.